Kala halalium, la yahawo, bahasham shal yahawashai, bahasham rakha kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, and salutations to the sincere Akim that's pushing the truth of the Holy Bible in fear and sincerity. Alright, just want to go and do a quick lesson on um, what are you willing to sacrifice for this truth, for this wisdom. Alright, throughout the scriptures, you'd see um, a lot of holy men. Chosen men by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai sacrifice a lot, and we're going to start um, this first. This first, I guess you could say, series because I'm as the Spirit lead me. If I find other holy men, I'll do a lesson on that. But let's start with Noah. All right, this is Genesis chapter six um, and verse seven, and Yahweh said, "I will destroy man." Whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping thing and fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahweh. Alright? She was already um, a righteous man in the eyes of Yahweh Bash and That's what gets you that's what gets you chosen by the most high. Alright? I mean he's a master mind, a master plan and all this. Mosai doesn't pick up anybody. You no, know, he's he's um, very particular and precise. Right? These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation. So this is indicating that um, Noah bloodline was a righteous bloodline, going back all the way to Adam. And the chapter five listed the entire righteous bloodline. And Noah walked with Yahweh. And Noah begot sons three sons shem ham and japheth all right and you know verse 13 let's go on to verse 13 and how was said unto noah the end of all flesh is come before me for the earth is filled with violence through them and behold i will destroy them with the earth make thee an ark of go for wood and so forth all right and if you go down to verse 22 it says Thus did Noah according to all that Yahweh commanded him. So did he. So Noah didn't didn't question Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And yes, there were some holy men that did question Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. But Noah was um was found faithful to doing the will of, of the Heavenly Father, right? And then in chapter seven it, it indicates that um Noah Yahweh spoke to Noah again. And so forth, but I just want to indicate something right real quick, or I guess the point. This is Genesis chapter 5, verse 32. Noah was 500 years old, and Noah begot Shem, Ham, and Japheth. All right, and then if you go to chapter 7, verse 6, and Noah was 600 years old when the flood, when the flood of the waters was upon the earth. So for a hundred years, Noah built the ark and was waiting on the go ahead from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And that's faith and belief. And that's one of the reasons why Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And that's the main reason, I guess you can say, that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, but Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, chose him because of his belief, because of his faith. He wasn't hesitant, but he was fully aware of the wickedness that was going on in the world. All right? So what are you willing to sacrifice? And if you think about it, Noah sacrifice, you know, people people thinking highly of him, his reputation, people thinking that he's mad, building on Noah's ark, and that was depicted in um a movie, um, Evan Almighty, all right? You know. That comedy that they made from, from these scriptures. That a lot of people is gonna look down upon you. And, and think you're crazy. A lot of people want to know why you give up these holidays, why you give up all this food, why you give up all these um, all these women, all this money, and so forth. But um, when when these men are called, or when these men, when these when these pretty how bashim or shy is upon us, um, it means that we we gather the understanding and and um, that that the most I gave us the understanding, I should say. All about life and what's the true essence of life all right and this is proverbs chapter 8 verse 11 
It says Proverbs chapter 8, verse 11. For wisdom is better than rubies and all things that may be desired are not compared to it so it says all things that may be desired are not compared to it so Noah was willing to give up his reputation his house his food or whatever and for that hundred year period he was he was he was um fearful and he followed the laws such as the commandments of Yahweh Hashem because when he came off the ark yeah, he understood the difference between clean and unclean animals so that means the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures um, or, or, or Yahweh's spirit I should say was with him all right and this is Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse let's start from 12 the sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eat little or much. All right. So the sweet of, a, of um, any man that's labor, it's going to be sweet, whether it's little or much. All right. But the abundance, but the abundance of rich, of the rich will not suffer him to sleep. So because a rich man always, always got, always heaping up a bunch of um, abundance and wealth and so forth to manage all that he would rarely sleep there is a sore evil which i have seen under the sun namely riches kept for the owners thereof to their hurt all right so if you're seeking riches so if you're seeking riches and whatnot <clears throat> carnal riches you know you'll be losing sleep and be tormented all right and it, and it can be for their hurt but those riches perish by evil travail and he begat the son and there is nothing in his hands so they're gonna lose all the riches essentially so all the all the, the all the billionaires and trillionaires or whatever in the world they're gonna lose all the riches right scripture said they shall not escape with their spoils as he came forth of his mother's womb naked shall he return to go as he came and shall take nothing of his labor which he may carry away in his hand so therefore you know that's why a lot of people kill themselves kill themselves for these riches and so forth all right and i believe um you know these couple of scriptures are going to bring out through um through uh, the next series or the next part of this um you know what are you willing to sacrifice for wisdom all right this is just showing you that you you hold on to things that are that are going to be taken all right this is ecclesiastes 10 so it'll be 9 verse 16 then said i wisdom is better than strength nevertheless the poor the poor man's wisdom is despised so our wisdom is despised so no what's wisdom was despised so are you willing to sacrifice um these things for righteousness for your how bashim so you can receive um um, the glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because it says so in Roman, Roman A, the Mosa, um, who he justified and then he glorified, you know, roughly paraphrasing. And his words are not heard, so they're not going to hear us, even though we're on the cars and so forth. No matter how much we try to warn them about the vanities of, of drinking and partying all the time and whatnot, of, of, and even if you don't drink and partying, you know, you might think in getting a house and, and, and a car and, and, and a whole bunch of lots and businesses and so forth is beneficial so you could travel the world and whatnot yeah 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 um those things are going to be enjoyable for a time but you know the wisdom is mostly found with poor and humble men men that that have um that occupy them time with with prophecy and, and doing the most i will because they are they're aware of their 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 um inheritance their blessing because um, that's why the Levites were not given a, a particular inheritance because their, their riches was wisdom, right? Mm -hmm. Wisdom is better than a weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. And that's verse 18 of um, Ecclesiastes 9, all right? We wisdom is better than weapons of war. So all these nuclear bombs and all these powers that um, so-called white race thing that they got above, above everybody, the wisdom is going to reflect all those out all those power that they think they have right 
I know this is a scripture brothers you know, should know. And but it's just a reminder to exhort brothers, you know, different things, different things in in, in this walk can tempt us. But we you know we can't get carried away. We can't get carried away. And you know. This is um also brothers coming into this truth. This is Matthew chapter 19. Matthew, Matthew chapter 19, verse um, 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Yasharala, all right? And every one that had forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake, which is Yahawashai, no other name, Yahawashai, shall receive a hundredfold. Right? You're going to receive a hundredfold that you sacrifice for Yahawabah Hashem Yahushai and shall inherit everlasting life and you're going to enjoy it forever you know forever you're gonna enjoy this you know and i say to Adi, how about shim Shai for humbling us teaching us this wisdom and knowledge and not to seek after our vain um carnal desires but for spiritual spiritual substance all right and with that i pray that this lesson was already fine um all praise to how about shim Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone a salutation to the hopeful leg that pushing the truth of the holy bible shalom